Hi folks, Toby here from Blyton Bridge Model Railway. Today I'm going to take you through how I do automatic braking on my layout. To do this I use a Ewan Brock GBM 43400 and a Lays ABC braking board. I got mine from Digitrains in Lincoln, a quick search online would find you what you're looking for. This is a fairly simple system that allows basic automation on my layout without the need for a computer. It also gives me the ability to add the DAPL semaphore signals, um, but I'm going to cover that in a later video as I don't have any of the new servo signals yet, which is what I ideally need to work with the Ewanbrook relay. This isn't a perfect system, it has its drawbacks and its bugs, but I find it generally does what I need it to do. So stay tuned in and I'll show you how I do it. The first thing to do is make sure your ABC braking sections are all the same length. A good tip that I got from John JMC is to stick to a standard length of flexi track. Um, I can't actually remember if that's what I did, so here I'm just using a piece of wire to measure my original braking section that all my locomotives are set up to. After that I've moved across the other side of the layout and aided by a couple of pegs I just peg the wire to the track so I can measure out where I want my new braking section to be. I'm using the left hand rail as my brake rail so I'm using the right hand rail for my detector rail. It's important to remember to choose a rail and stick to it as otherwise your decoder won't know which rail it's looking for for the brake signal. So with my piece of wire still on the track, I mark out where I want the section to be so I can then make the cuts in the rail to isolate that section from the rest of the track. So the brake section for this section of track runs from here to here. So next I move back across the other side of the layout. I had already decided where I wanted the detector section to end, which is just the other side of the bridge. So this section then runs from the station area, just in the background over there, to where I'm just cutting over here. And that will be the full detector section. So as you can see, there's a break in the rail just there on the road bridge. And the detector section goes all the way over to the other side of the girder bridge and stops just there where that gap is. It's worth noting that any feeds into the detector section will also need cutting so here I'm cutting the tracks for the branch line and the yard there because they've got feeds straight down to the bus line so they need to be cut. After this I just look up and down the brake and the detector section for any dropper wires. These are all going to need separating from the bus wire as they need to run through the relay. After that I join the link wires from the ABC board to the relay. So I start with the link wire from pin 4 on the ABC board and that goes into pin 8 on the relay.
then I attach the link wire from pin 2 on the ABC board and that goes into pin 6 on the relay. And then the last link wire that I put in goes from pin 1 on the ABC board to pin 5 on the relay. Next, I drill a hole in the baseboard to run the wires through. I will be extending the platform and putting the buildings on so you'll not actually see the relay or the ABC board, they will be hidden. So next what I've done is I've taken the dropper wire that is connected to the brake section, put it up through the hole and that will go into pin 3 on the ABC board. Here I'm just stripping the end of the wire and tinning the end of it so that the screw terminal on the ABC board has got something to grip to. After that I run a wire up from the left bus wire, that then goes into pin 8 on the relay which it shares that terminal with one of the link wires that goes to the ABC board. It's a little bit fiddly to get these wires in there together as the terminals on the relay are quite small but with a bit of jiggery pokery it goes in without a problem. So next I take a dropper wire from the detector section and run it all the way around the layout to the relay so that's quite a long dropper wire and that goes into terminal 9 on the relay. Okay. 
followed then by running a wire up from the right hand bus wire into terminal 10 on the relay. So that's the relay all wired in, now it's time to test it. Okay, so what I've got is the N7 parked in the new detector section, the J15 just before the platform, and the 8F or 06, whatever you want to call it, in the games per section. What should happen is the J15 should pull into the platform and stop at the end because it's being blocked by the N7. The 8F should then pull into the Gainsborough section and stop in that ABC section because it's being blocked by the J15. When I then move the N7, everything should then move to the next section. So let's see what happens. So that's pulled up there. So now, like I said, what we're expecting is for the 06 to pull up just up the top of the board in the games section as it's being blocked by the J15. like so. So now I'm going to move the N7 out the detector section and hopefully the J15 will set off on its own. Let's see what happens. So the N7's now left the detector section and yep, the J15 has set off on its own. Once the brake van on the J15's train has left the section, then that should release the relay, flick it back the other way and the ATF should set off. Um, there is a light on the brake van which keeps the detector section triggered until it's cleared. And yep, as soon as the brake van had left the section, the 8F has set off, so it looks like it's all working. 
Thank you for watching. I hope this video has been useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.